Before you get started, remove your magazine and bolt and ensure your rifle is safe to work on. Grab a Phillips head screwdriver and gun oil. Lubricate screwdriver shaft with gun oil to eliminate binding. Insert screwdriver and unscrew screws to remove your existing recoil pad. Alternate between the screws until pad is completely removed. Press down on a hard surface to remove screws from existing pad. Remove your ZP1 and adapter plate from packaging. With the damper leg extended, unscrew the ZP1 cap and remove the damper. Grab your adapter plate and fit up to the main ZP1 body using the alignment lugs to locate the adapter plate. Insert existing screws into the main ZP1 body and attach to rifle stock. Check alignment of the ZP1 main body and recoil pad with top of rifle stock and adjust position if necessary. Once happy with alignment, use a scribe to mark the adapter plate ready for shaping. Lubricate screwdriver with gun oil and remove the ZP1 from your rifle stock, checking your scribe line is visible. Gently sand and shape the adapter plate down to the scribed line. The easiest way to shape the adapter plate is with a bench sander. Another good way to shape the adapter plate is to place it with locating lugs face down and use a hand file for shaping and fine tuning, checking along the way to ensure a perfect fit. Once happy with the fit to your rifle stock, a good finishing tip is to colour the edge of the adapter plate with a permanent black marker. Grab your ZP1 main body and refit to the adapter plate using the alignment lugs. Lubricate your screwdriver shaft again with gun oil ready for final fitting. Alternate between screws to fasten your ZP1 to the rear of your stock, being careful not to over tighten. Grab the ZP1 damper and insert back into the main ZP1 body and tighten the cap. Your ZP1 is now fitted and ready for action.